for me, all the pieces of the jigsaw kind of came together and I realised it didn't matter what you looked at, whether it was oil or food or climate change or water or economics, that changes were coming and that we had to get communities together in order to do that. What makes Transition Towns different is it joins the dots, it touches all parts of our lives. It's really trying to draw out the community to think for itself. Because so many people now realise something has to be done and actually we need to be involved. We cannot wait for governments to do it. If we do that, it'll be too little too late. We have to start doing that ourselves. We've got a lot of challenges to face. What are we doing about that? We are building our own stories, rooted in our own experiences and turning the tide backwards and building our confidence as individuals and communities. Everyone's doing amazing things and we need to capture it so we can share it. We've got a really exciting looking day. We've got a bunch of workshops happening this morning. But the one thing that this event really needs is you guys. Very much part of the transition spirit is to devolve responsibility to each and every one of us. We've travelled up from Devon to come to the conference at the, the Quakers Meeting House here in Brighton. I'm just here just to see what's happening, to get inspired, to get excited. Let's get out there and get amongst other folk from other areas and share the experiences. And this is a bit where we've kind of opened up the event to the participants and said, you're in charge now, take over. To so encourage people to co-create their own agenda, split up into groups, talk about what they want to talk about or learn about what they want to learn about. Hello, my name's David and um, I'd like to host a conversation on agriculture. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, um, otherwise known as box schemes commonly. Mm -hmm. My name's Ed. Uh, unsurprisingly, I'd like to talk about the web mm -hmm. and I'd like to discuss how we can use the web to share stories, projects, knowledge and stuff like that. It's a method we use for kind of uh, running events and conferences in which the participants take over. Some people are interested in beekeeping, other people are interested in local energy generation. Mm. There's a there's thing on community composting which I'm quite interested in. I'm here to talk about uh, complementary currencies and alternative kinds of money. 90p of every pound you spend in, in a big supermarket just leaves the, the local economy. The 10p might go on as somebody who they employ locally. Their legal services, their accountancy, the whole supply chain is about importing stuff from outside your local economy. I'm just going to hand round some uh, examples here. at the Lewis Pound and the Brixton Pound. One of the things that I'm interested in is the Lewis Pound. You just spend it in Lewis and get given it back as change. So it's money working for Lewis and circulating within Lewis. Uh, Brighton would be a great hub for that kind of system. There's a lot of money coming into Brighton. Lots of tourists come down from all over the world. But a lot of that money just leaks out of Brighton. We need to get local. We need to grow our food locally. We need to buy things locally and make things locally. And I was just in a fascinating workshop about growing food in an urban environment. There's loads of ideas growing food in skips. There's a new clause called the Meanwhile Clause, which allows people to take over derelict land and grow food on it. It's very exciting today because there's so many people that want positive change because you sometimes can feel quite isolated with this. And to actually have a lot of people come from all around the UK to talk about effective change, well, it's just enlightening for me. It sort of, it makes me feel like I can breathe again. At times I get quite sceptical, I think, is, is this possible? But other times, like coming here today, it makes me really positive. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's going to happen. We've got a lot of people here who are interested in this and there are tools and methods in the Transition Network for enabling people to start local groups within cities.